You're rolling. Rolling? Yeah, whenever you're ready. I just start talking? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's quite weird talking in an empty room. Um, so shall I introduce, shall I say who I am? Yeah, yeah say who you are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Mark Cousins. I have written a book, uh, The Story of Looking. I'm sitting here in my flat where I've done a lot of looking for the last 20 years. When I look out of the window, I think I'm simply looking out and dragging information in. But in fact, if you study the brain of someone who's looking, there's more flow of information from the back of the brain forward, i.e. projecting from uh, the deep memories you have of previous things you've seen. And so looking isn't gathering new information. What it's doing is matching lots of old images you've got in your head with the current thing you're spotting. So they reckon that it's more projecting process than a receiving process. And that's that makes sense when you think about it. When you go somewhere new, you feel yourself scanning the visual scene, looking for something familiar, and then you kind of grab onto it almost. The book I've done, The Story of Looking, is a whole attempt at a whole history of how we looked. We think, we know that we've got love lives, we know we've got working lives, but what if we think of our looking life? What does that mean? How many dead bodies have you seen? How many sunsets have you seen? How many times have, have you looked at someone with hate or with love? How many times when you're playing football or tennis are you aware that your eyes are active all the time? Looking is one of the greatest things that human beings do and yet, strangely, there's never been a history of it. We've never, it's so obvious, it's so all around us that nobody's really thought of asking what is the history of looking? For people who are interested in looking, um, the city of Venice is one of the meccas. This is, it looked east and west, it was mercantile, it was a transit lounge, it was a refugee camp. But what interests me most is, is the visual experience of Venice. What is the history of a place like Venice? What happened when Galileo stood in this city in 1609 and looked through a telescope and saw for the first time the moons of Saturn? And now that we're at a time when screens are everywhere, in a time of VR and, and AR and, and the digital age and the digitization of imagery and the image overload, the image deluge, you could say, now is the time to ask the question, what is the history of looking?